everybody, Lego Crusher here, and welcome to Eloquent Countenance. I think that's how I say that. <laughs> Made by the makers of, like, Dead Plate, Cold Front, and all that stuff. This is just gonna be a little one-off episode, because Dakota's busy today, and so, um, I just wanted to, uh, get a little video out for you guys, but Amori will be back out next week. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna explore this today and see what it has in store. <laughs> you have been told that the pastor of your church had suddenly passed away last night. As you helped with his wife's funeral not long ago, you were assigned to assist the pastor's funeral service today as well. By the time the service com comes to an end, the funeral is about to begin. All guests of the funeral, please find your way over to the seats. For all service assistance, please make sure to review the procedures of the ceremony thoroughly. Remember, everything must be perfect. There should be a written procedure for assistance to reach somewhere near here. Praying to the heavens to help me not make any mistakes during the ceremony would be helpful as well, very helpful as well. Let's do this then. Okay. Obtained funeral information memo. Oh god. Another nosebleed? When will I get used to... Used to what? Have I bled like this before? The final event is now listed is now difficult to read from it being covered by the blood. Oh, great. Order of service, opening speech, prayers, chanting hymns, wreath laying... What? <laughs> Re... something. Return? Re... Ooh. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Just in case. <laughs> so I don't mess anything up. You can press X to view your inventory. This is all the preparation I need. I should start heading over to the front of the altar and find my assigned spot. Oh, so I can view the inventory. So I guess I can read that again. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Strange voice suddenly starts to ring in your head. Uh, be not afraid, human. Um. Wow, that was way too slow and dramatic for my taste. Yeah, no, if I keep speaking like this, we'll be here all day. So you know what? Go, be free. I will release you from this pain and start speaking normally. <laughs> okay. Give a huge round of applause for my thoughtfulness, everybody. 
Oh, and turn this weird background ambience off too. It's kind of killing the mood. Right? <laughs> now that that's all out of the way, can you hear my oh so friendly and soft voice? That makes your heart melt away from all the trustworthiness. Uh, I hear it loud and clear? Oh, how unexpectedly sweet of you. You actually think my voice sounds like that? Well, if you like my voice so much, I should never stop talking for you then. <laughs> Alright, from this point on, everything I say will be fully written... <laughs> will be fully written paragraphs. Ready to read endless blocks of text, lady? No, I'm not! <laughs> Here we go. One, two... Yeah, no, that was a joke, if you haven't already noticed. Okay, good. <laughs> now, how about it? Aren't you curious how I on how I look now that you've heard my voice? All right, all right. Everyone gather around for the grand entrance of yours truly. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Who is this? Ta-da! <laughs> Aren't you too disappointed? What did you expect me to be more, well, holy looking? Oh, come on, chin up now. No one besides me even wanted to try and, and come meet you. I personally hit. I personally came to help you out since I'm super nice and s proper like that. You should be grateful, lady. Before we start getting attached to each other, I need you to answer something for me first. Surprise quiz! <laughs> Guess what I'm supposed to be? Feel free to answer however you like. You're not getting punished or anything. I'm just an illusion in your head. How could I ever hurt you? Aha. Uh -huh. oh, that doesn't mean I want to hurt you if I could, by the way. So don't start assuming I'm evil just yet. Um. <laughs> God, is that you? <laughs> God. God? God! You came to the conclusion after everything I did so far? If I was God with my personality, humanity would have gone extinct eons ago. <laughs> so I felt someone flicking your forehead. Eep! Well, I find it hilarious if you go around asking if some random things are supposed to be God. Upstairs might be taken as blasphemy. You know how the boss is, a bit of a <laughs> petty loser, so don't forget to always watch your mouth. Calling God a pretty petty loser also blasphemy. I'm an angel, that's right, an angel. Well, guardian angel to be specific. You know, the ones that get assigned to a specific human and look after them so they don't die. I think we're also called the silent protector sometimes. But don't call me that. Too pretentious of a little... pretentious of a title, don't you think? Just call me by name. It's Forces. Okay? Anyway, I believe this is the point where you start to, you're starting to wonder why is this suspicious angel reeking of old man energy suddenly talking to me? Well, does he talk like that? Why does he talk like that? His characterization sucks. <laughs> what am I not supposed to talk to people when I'm bored? Are you saying angels should shut up and only stand up around looking pretty? I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not here because I'm bored anyway. I'm here for business. The human I've been assigned to look to look over got tied up with this obviously suspicious church. That would be really convenient for me if someone who's already on the side were to help me. Lady, how about we make a deal? Um. Okay. Hmm. All right. What I just said sounds like a lot. I'm supposed to be something else that's not an angel. And I told you before, and I'm telling you again now. 100% pure angel. Don't forget that. <laughs> uh-huh. Right. <laughs> anyway, you'll even get a prize if you do your part well. It's... Your role, please. Ta-da! Me! I... You are totally not an angel. <laughs> Ouch, aren't you being too harsh? Wait a minute, are you supposed to be a nun? How can you even act like that towards me? I'm a very serious and graceful angel, you know. He's still 
don't get why me being around you will be the best thing you, that can ever happen to you. Listen here, I'm a guardian angel, yeah? Think of everything guardian angels can do for their human. You never get hurt. All troubling things in your past life. Oh, God. How useful is that? Well, how about it? Pretty neat, eh? Isn't that your responsibility in the first place? I'm doing you a favor, aren't you my original- you aren't my original responsibility, kid. Never mind. What I mean is, yes, that's my job, but I'll upgrade those perks by 11. Like a bonus package, Guardian Angel Premium, you could say. What do you even want? What I want is fairly simple. No matter what happens, I want you to focus and finish today's funeral perfectly all the way from start to finish. I can do that. <laughs> now that's a 10% likability point worthy answer. Oh, and don't forget. Never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. Um. Okay. <laughs> Is that too specific? Are you suspicious of me now? Are you sure you're not a demon? How much more do I have to make myself clear on this topic, lady? Do you even realize how much like ability points for me you have to be dropping so far? I want to make you trust me from the get-go, believe me. But you know how it is. The boss upstairs is pretty strict about this kind of thing. Listen, all angels have rules we must follow. We cannot let humans know what kind of crisis or problems they're going to be facing directly. Boss isn't much of a fan of the classic showing illusions to warn what's about to come method anymore. Didn't really like the idea when I proposed to meet you this way, but you know, since I'm a nice angel, I begged and begged. So here I am, this is as good as it gets. Me, I can only help you through vague lessons and never the direct answer. You must figure out the rest on your own and overcome it. I know, right? It sucks that I'm basically some kind of pet rather than an actual assistant. But I guess it's fair. Characters with no all in all mentor positions like me are supposed to be enigmatic after all, or else we won't be popular. <laughs> anyway, since I've beaten up a lot of time, I'll let you go for now. If you want to talk to me again, come find me. Ah, how about this? If you find yourself stuck, well, let's just send up a prayer and I'll come right down. Good luck, lady, I'll be searching you on. I'll be cheering you on. Remember my words. I'm on your side. Are you? <laughs> ah! I can't believe I let that strange voice distract me. What is going on? I need to focus and go to go to my assigned spot. I think my brain is breaking a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? So don't help people? But I want to help people. I'm a nun, aren't I supposed to help people? Where was that again? Why do I feel like I've been forgetting things more often lately? Even now I feel like that I'm missing something very important. For now, I'll just use the other citizens as an example and figure something out. Hoping speech, prayers, chanting hymns, wreath laying, and then something. In the back. Prayer equals candle. Music equals that number and question mark. <coughs> and then partially burnt photo? Front. Don't forget. Huh. Back. L I O A? Or A L I C A? I think that's an O. Lioa?
Church's altar. Well, this looks familiar. It's like a stone made bed. Don't want to actually lay on it, however. Okay. So, front. Opening speech. Coffin where the pastor lies. Did the pastor's chest move up and down just now? Must have been my imagination. Excuse me? Did it? Opening speech. Huh? Here sounds of something breathing, having breathing heavily from inside the cage. You can't see what's inside, doing it to being covered by a black cloth. That's not creepy at all. I can sprint. So, <sighs> opening speech, prayers, chanting hymns, wreath laying, and then something. What? Whoa! God, that is terrifying. I'm so confused. Opening speech. What? Terrifying. Metal candle holder. Seems like there's no need to use it at the moment. Stack of religious books. Verse of the day. The words of his mouth were soother than butter, but war air was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn they drawn words. Study of angels. Angels are twisted for these servants of the Lord. He obeyed the Lord unconditionally, prioritizing any given task to them. They were created only to act according to the will of the Lord. The voice of the angel is a very is very sacred, soft, and most importantly, incredibly persuasive. Therefore, it is natural for the Lord's followers to believe the angel's words unconditionally, as they follow them to receive words and blessings of the Lord through them. Interesting. Oh, we can save here. Stack of religious books. List of holy names. Uh, A. Abigail, meaning joy of God. Anna, meaning God's grace of favor. Angelica, meaning the messenger of God. Angel. Uh, C. Kathleen, meaning pure and purity. Celeste, meaning daughter of heaven. Krista mean follower. E. Eden meaning paradise, place of delight. Elizabeth, promise from God, God is my oath. 
Eve meaning life. Study of angels number two. The true appearance of an angel is impossible to discern with the use of human tongue. Human beings use, who see their original form will have their minds broken. Their flesh burn eventually lead to their death due to their overwhelmingly holy presence. Therefore, when angels communicate with humans, they must appear as an acceptable illusion or in a vessel the human mind can comprehend. Most angels choose to appear in the form of animals or humans. The vessel of an angel is the, in the human world is gifted by the Lord. However, this privilege is no longer given after the fall of an angel. Angels who have fallen have their vessel taken and are banished from heaven without having an acceptable form to properly exist on our world. Interesting. Seems like there's no need to use it at the moment. Opening speech. Hmm. A bundle of candles that are yet to be lit. Um, I am so confused. <laughs> Should be my assigned spot. Oh, goodness. Gosh, that took way too long to figure out. We will now begin the funeral service. First of all, I would like to express my sincere apprehensions to everyone who gathered here today. Not long after his wife passed, our pastor has followed behind her footsteps. But everyone, this is not a thing to be sad about. Faith, as the faithful servant of the Lord has told us before, a pastor will never abandon us even after death. At this moment, the pastor is very happy to see how many followers of this have gathered here before him. Just like how his wife has yet to leave and been protecting us, the pastor will do the same and take care of all of us. Let us all pray and apprehend appreciation of his kindness and thoughtfulness. Well, please look this way. Anyone? Hmm? Voices coming from inside the iron cage covered by the black cloth. Is anyone there? Please, someone help me. I'm so scared. Help. Um. to ignore everything and just do my job, but mm, I'm gonna ignore for now. I swear that she looked toward my direction. Please don't ignore me. Please help. Even if it isn't now, just once, please talk to me. It is time for the next procedure. Whatever's happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. The next event is prayers, yes? Oh, there's a drawn symbol of hands put together and a candle on the memo. How should I go about this? I am freaking out. No candles that are yet to be lit. I need 
just to light up the candles. Ah, are those my, were my footsteps always this loud? Oops, was that audio too over the top? Ah! Yes, it's me, lady, it's me! <laughs> See, it's me, your friendly neighborhood guardian angel. Horses. Congrats, you got it! That's an A plus, sir, for, just for you. You surprised me. Does this mean the loud footstep just now was an auditory hallucination played by me? Ah, <laughs> uh, don't look so annoyed. You think I pulled that off just to mess with you? Yes! I mean, it was pretty hilarious seeing you about to bawl your eyes out. <laughs> right, right, sorry. The people here are pretty obsessed with everything being perfect, huh? Even a single mistake could make them think you're ruining their entire parade. For example, you making a little noise when they're going at it during their hardcore prairie session. I hear your footsteps the same volume as how I just played it to you, or hey, maybe even worse. <laughs> They'll think it's loud as the sound of the entire building collapsing down. Anyways, long story short, watch your step. Well, that's enough life lessons from me. Good luck, lady, you're killing it so far. Thanks. He definitely did that just to mess with me. <laughs> Watch my step? Ah! When people are praying, my footsteps will be covered by their voices. Which means they won't notice me. I need to light all the candles without drawing attention to myself. I'll follow. They stopped. Okay. Oh, they stopped again. <laughs> this is so stressful. Why does there have to be so many candles? I'll follow the They stopped again. Okay. <laughs> okay, this isn't too bad. I just have to wait. Okay, this isn't too bad. I thought this was gonna be a lot worse, but... Ah, man. Thank you, everyone, for your sincere prayers. Whew, now that's out of the way. Mm. The next procedure will sure to begin soon. I should return to my spot and think over what I should do next. Let us now sing praise of blessings for the pastor, his wife and us, the remaining followers of the church, and our future. To make the preparations for the next procedure easy, all guests please take out the... Bless you? Cre I don't... That you were asked to prepare and hold them up as we all sing. None from earlier. Here, over here. You, you came back. I was worried something might have happened to you. 
Yep. At least I know that there's a lock on the cage, uh, but the passcode. Seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please, help me figure this out. I'm gonna ignore for now? No! Please, what do I have to do to make you look my way? Help, I don't know what you're they're planning to do to me. Help me. Someone please help. It's time for the next procedure. I don't feel good about this. You just stay calm, especially at a time like this. Next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and a list of numbers. It's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet. It's hard to tell what the me numbers mean yet, so... Does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I'm pretty curious if everyone did bring their... Sisanthrium... Uh, that or not. Just take a look around for that. The person in the cage is something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers in this church in the first place? That is terrifying. Believe me, I, I did bring it. You need to believe me. It's right here next to me. It was right here until just a moment ago. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I won't make a mistake next time. Please don't report me. What do I do? Do I tell the truth or lie and count them as if it were there? Oh. so surprised. It's me. How about it? Did you miss me? I'm not here to mess with you again, so don't give me the just yet. I just wanted to let you know that I'm well proud of you. Share some of you some good news, too. Did you know your trial is about to end soon? I know you must have been in doubt a lot during this whole thing, but you're doing great. Just keep going at it like how you've been doing, and you'll be fine. Wishing you my luck till the end, lady. Thank you for putting your faith in me. Hmm. From my perspective, how many are there on the left? Uh. Report doesn't match the expected number vastly. Please check again. Three, but if 
they were supposed to match up in 24. Twenty-four as well, right? Let me count. Four, eight, Must leave for a short while to quickly check something. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. Oh god, that's terrifying! Okay, I'm going to my spot! <laughs> uh oh no, they're going over to that poor person. No matter what happens, I came this far. I must make it through to the end. I need to put my faith in the guardian angel. The followers carefully giving up their flowers to the front of the altar in the pastor's coffin. We mark the end of today's funeral service. And now... Did I mess up? Continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with the sacrificial body for his resurrection. Um... We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to be easily to easily find his way onto the new body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lay them on the altar. Excuse me? No! So you were just another cultist after all? Please, how could you do this to another person? I'm a person, not a sacrifice! Help, I said help! Get away from me, I won't move an inch! I need to drag them out somehow. Um... Just stop and get out of here already! Why? Why are you smiling? Congratulations! She passed the test? Um... I did what? As it was expected, I mean, the wife of our pastor would never fall for cheap tricks like this. We apologize for suddenly making you go through this fake funeral. It's just that you weren't acting like, well, yourself lately. We are worried that the ritual earlier wasn't completed properly, and we thought we'd have to do it again. Please forgive us for ever suspecting you, ma'am. At least we're absolutely sure now. The angel who blessed us with the power of resurrection, they were right. It's her, the beloved wife of our pastor, really has come back to life. I... Huh? Congratulations! You have no idea what's going on, don't you? No! First of all, first off, relax. I'm not on the same side as those cultists. Since you passed the trial, I think I can tell you now. Finally, I was going crazy trying to not to spill anything to you this whole time. You know how angels can fall from grace, yeah? I always differently think that when an angel falls, they immediately become a demon. That isn't always the case. 
Most fallen angels feel the sense of superiority from the fact they were an angel once. So sometimes they obsess over maintaining the image of being holy and powerful, even after their corruption. And if they were banished from heaven, they choose not to go to hell. Where do you think they end up? That's right, the world of humans. And when angels descend to earth, we can't let our true forms be seen, so we are given a vessel for God to possess. So that we can use them to appear and exist alongside humans without harming them. But that's the case for angels who are still on the job. What about the fallen? God immediately doesn't want anything to do with them, so naturally they originally assigned vessels are taken away from them too. How they can, then how can they exist on Earth? The answer is obvious when you think about it. They still are living in this body. Targeting those who are desperate, targeting those who are unstable, targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation, just lead me, let me into your mind. I will bring your loved one back to life, sacrifice the body of a person, and let your loved one take over instead. Using their angelic voices to convince those people to perform a ritual to possess their body before completely taking over. When they wake up, well, they put up an act as if they were whoever that was the original host of the human body, and a loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. That's right. You... It's like how you and that... Just like how you and that girl's body are playing your part as the beloved wife of the pastor who miraculously came back to life. Who knew an angel could go so low and not stick over the human they were supposed to look after? You disgust me. I once said that you were a lost cause. I feel it. I feel it. You're human. You somehow so conscious even after you possessed her. As if you two were spiritually fighting long inside, who gets to control the body? If you failed to complete the funeral service today, those people would have performed yet another ritual to your body. Thinking that one from the last time during the wife's funeral wasn't completed properly, the original host, Angelica, would have been completely erased. That's why I insisted her to follow along to trick them into thinking she's on their side. That way, even if it isn't now, but slowly and carefully, guide Angelica to her salvation. Even if you are the host now, Angelica will gain back control. How do I know? The fact that you listen to me has been enough proof. Sorry, Angelica. It will be painful, but until the day I can probably salvage you, you must persevere. So that was a bad end? So I guess that was the bad end. So, how do I get the good end?
told a lie. Help me remember everything I need to do on this day. tell the truth here. This means someone didn't prepare the flower. Confirmed. Well done. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. I go check and see if there's any leftover to use instead. The ceremony must be perfect. Okay. No matter what happens, I came this far. I must make it through to the end. I need to put my faith in the guardian angel.
I'm so confused. both of us if I talk to them now. Okay. Maybe I need to hear someone black cloth. Should be my assigned spot. Maybe I actually need to go against
saw me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for looking at me. No one else has even bothered to look. You were the first to to respond. Does it mean you're different from the others? Please tell me you're different. Yes, I'm different. Does that mean you're also being held hostage here? That's terrifying. Are you okay? Let's escape together. If you help me, I promise to keep you safe. They told me I was going to play an important role during today's ceremony. Obviously, they're planning something bad. Something bad is going to happen to so please do something. Behind you! It's time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on processing the funeral for now. Next event is prayers, yes? There's a drawn symbol of hand put together and a candle on the memo. How should I go about this? It would be trouble for both of us if I talk to them now. Of course, I need this to light up the candles. <laughs> Audio two over the top. Just be already, lady. Jeez. <laughs> See, it's me, Guardian Angel. Orseus? Surprise me. Pretty hilarious. Watch your step. Good luck, lady. You're killing it so far. Am I? You definitely did that just to mess with me. Watch my step. The steps will be covered by their voices. It means they won't notice me. I'll follow them. I need to do this over. Daring that time. <laughs> okay, I can get two before it stops. Procedure will be start soon. <laughs> ah, the nun from earlier. Here, over here. Okay, how do I get you out? You came back. It's worth something might have happened to you. Please, I know there's a lock on the cage with a passcode. Seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please, help me figure this out. Okay. I shall help. <laughs> Please open this fast. Something bad is going to happen to me at the end of the funeral. I can feel it. Yeah, I'm trying. My dude. <laughs> Wait, so don't tell me. You don't know the passcode! Then do you know anyone around here that would know about it? I don't want to die here. Please don't let me die here. Maybe more 
more quiet or they'll... <laughs> what the numbers mean yet, so does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I'm pretty curious if everyone did bring their their flowers or not. We should take a look around for that. First, the cave said something about a passcode. Something with numbers on this church in the first place? Is there? I haven't seen anything with numbers. Wrinkly old angel ask you for help. Ask how may this wrinkly old angel help you today? I can't talk. Lady, do you like spooky stories? Want me to tell you one? Too late, I'm starting it. <laughs> Did you know when a person stays sitting on the same spot for too long, a ghost will appear and start counting all their hair strands they have. One, two, three, four. And then when the ghost finishes counting all the hair, it. Snatch! This is a way to you to hell with it. How bad? It wasn't that scary. Let me to hold your hand so you can calm down. I... Ouch, you're too cold. I wonder what will happen to people that are cold. <laughs> is now the time for jokes, if that's what you're waiting for from me. Let me just get straight to the point. Lady? You're not listening to me. What did I tell you? No matter what happens, no matter what someone says, mind your own business. I don't feel like you haven't been doing that. I'm wrong, right? Tell me it's all just a misunderstanding. Um... I don't want to be the mean guy here, but... <laughs> You just aren't listening to me. Don't you know that angels can be more terrifying than demons? Listen carefully. You're in a very dangerous situation, understand? Oh god! Since you faced with a quick flash of an angel's true form, you start feeling like every ounce of blood in your body was about to pour out from your eyes and nose. as you are told. No! <laughs> I'm not gonna let this person die!
<laughs> okay, I might have cheated a little bit to look the passcode up, but that's because I couldn't find it anywhere. Why do I cage a person like that? I just can't stand here and let that happen. Not only that, if I continue to stay here, who knows what might happen to me as well. I've made up my mind. Let's just open the lock like that nun is away and I can... Oh god. Oh god, no 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 no. I knew it, I knew it. I knew something bad was waiting for me. The human sacrifice? That's insane! Please open this cage, let's escape this place. Lock on the cage, four number passcode. I need to enter it. I need to figure this out. Five, five, two, one. Okay. running. If we stay here, they'll- It's truly a shame you chose to run away. Can't believe this. That's is her. That's not the pastor's wife. We fear it became reality. Rachel during her funeral didn't work. We knew that woman was acting off lately. Good thing we tested her. Now we're now sure of her state. Hey, don't have much time left. <laughs> yeah, I n not yet noticed. I think I can let you know now. You know look how angels can fall, yeah? Okay, yeah, this is the same. Descend 
there and help you, but they aren't letting me go down. Listen, and now you must pay the price. What, so am I doomed no matter what? Even when you're still alive, even when you're still asking for help, you were just confused, and you only did what you thought was best. How merciful of them, huh? Sorry. Where did the wife's soul go? How did we bring her back. How do we bring her back? We must perform the ritual again so that the possession can be properly complete. Quick, grab her. We need to kill her mind so that she won't ever wake up again. Give us your body to the peace of the church. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, a joke, yes, this is all a joke. It's me, I'm her, I'm the pastor's wife. Don't you recognize me? Please believe me. Person you all know and love so so please just let me be I guess that was all there is to it. <laughs> We're doomed no matter what. <sighs> well, guys, that was eloquent, eloquent countenance. Definitely, definitely interesting. I, <laughs> I don't think there is any more to explore there. But if there is, let me know, and I can, uh, I can see if I can play more. But anyway, guys, if you liked that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with all the newest videos, and I'll see you guys next time.